yes, we are back. Back again in... <coughs> can't talk uh, back again in trains in world three back again to do some more t training because it's trains in world three it's in the title and everything uh, and this time back again on the tees valley line somewhere we haven't been in a while uh where i'm going to attempt and i say attempt to take this class 31 i'm pointing at the screen where it says 31 uh, and the 101 behind it looks like uh from the place where we are to another place and then do something else um if you're watching this on youtube hi so i try that um this going out on a saturday is it might be still be saturday potentially uh there's other things on some other days occasionally when i do other things uh there'll be links in the doobly-doo below to where you can get things the, the route the game the the twitch link thing to where you can watch me on the twitch that they'll be down they'll be down there um it's not that one yeah it's not that i haven't done it what do, what do you think what do you expect from me um it, um, what am I doing now? Uh, hello, by the way, to Crispy, Trent, Matthew, uh, Derek. Um, so yeah, we're here at a place. Um, it, I can't remember it was. Saltburn. The, the, I better open the doors, I suppose, don't I? Uh, that one. There we go. Um, and we're going to go to another place. Um, uh, the, 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 the Saltburn to Bishop's Auckland. That's where we're going. Well, that's where it wants us to go. Whether we'll end up there or not is another matter. Um, it's a DMU drag, a DMU in a dress, or a skirt, or other clothing. Um, that's the that's the thing. People are now doing the getting on thing. I've, I've attempted to get the train um, uh, working. Um, I, I've done the uh, I've done the, the thing. Uh, not that one. I did that one. I've done this one. Hang on. There we go. I've done that one. I did one of them. What more do you want? I've set the brakes, the um, the the air brakes, because to that go well, so you won't be able to brake. But we'll cross that bridge. I'm sure there'll be one, um, a bridge that we'll probably cross at some point. Have we got any bishops? There might be. Uh, right. Stop at mask. Let's do the the releasing of the brakes and wait till the number comes down. Otherwise, the number goes up, and that just gets really confusing. We'll give it a bit more of the volumes. And then we'll go outside. Come outside. Come outside. Who did that? I want to say Tommy something. Tommy something? Anyway, I don't know. Uh, let's go to the outside and see if I can actually do some of the accelerating. Oh, we're moving. Tommy Steele. Is it Tommy Steele? Oh, hang on, though. We've got brake drag. Hang on. Okay, so maybe it wasn't those brakes. Uh, hang on. Let's just do a thing. Um, vacuum brakes, passenger, then. We'll, we'll try that, shall we? Uh, let's do the seating back down. There we go. That's better. Vacuum brakes, not the other ones. I know I'm good. I've heard that before. Not for a while, but, you know. I said it to myself. Right, next stop is Mask in 1.8 of the distances. Uh, next week, by the way, for those watching on YouTube, potentially, I've got to think about this. It might not be, because I might pre-record something. I don't know. At some point, you would have either seen already, or will see, the new line that I can't remember. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so good at this. Glossop, that's the one. Yeah, it, uh, the YouTubes, it might be out before. If not, it will be out later. I don't know when this is going YouTube. I'm streaming it next Monday. But I might record some stuff on it before I stream it. Which goes out before I stream it. Which will go out after this on YouTube. It's it's confusing. Oh, the voice in my head tells me lots of things.
Right, mine of the half. Oh, we got to the dizzying heights of 31 miles an hour. It's now because I've got vacuum brakes, I've then got to attempt to do the stopping of the thing. That's going to be the difficult bit. Who's Nobby again? Ethan. When I worked for a certain uh, high street machinery superstore, every new apprentice, and we went through a lot of them because I couldn't really work with certain people, uh, I never bothered learning their names. Uh, I used to call them all Nobby. And I'd tell them that on day one, right? You're going to be known as Nobby. Sorry, I don't know that one. Thank you. Um, he was insert name here the other day. It's like, you know, if you're someone that has got multiple people in their life, give them all the same nickname. Because you can never get confused then, can you? Alright, we've got to do the slowing down thing in uh, in point seven of the distances over the time of the hypotenuse of the square root of the elephant. You call most people Dave. Alright, Dave. You should call Ethan and me the same thing. I, why, you're going to have a relationship with both of us? Or are we both special people in your life? <laughs> you never know. Well, that's true. Right, braking. Is there a station up here? Oh, yes, there is. Breaking. Hey, well that's not bad. M most of it's on the on the platform. I'll take that as a win. Doors are opening. People are getting off. Yay! I am too good. I kn I know. I I know I am. I I know. I I can't help it. Right by the stairs. See, perfect. Get off the train. Sod off up the stairs. That that's what you want in life, isn't it? Do you blame me? That was perfect. Practically perfect in every way. I just call me Mary Poppins. can't go doing it properly but it, it did stop a bit short which you should be used to crispy being a you know a bit short there's a lot of people on the stairs see they come down the stairs they get straight on the thing and that's just that's perfect with the stopping thing Locking doors. Doors are going to be locked. Hang on. Which one's that? That one. Uh, locking the left. Right. Releasing the brakes. Red car east. Why does that ring a bell? Red car. Isn't there a red car steel something or other station? Is that one of the least used places in the country type thing? Or am I getting confuzzled with something? Hello, we're moving. Red car British steel or something? Oh god, I'm turning into a train weirdo. Right, two miles. Trains do move. We yeah, have it's moving and I wasn't doing anything. It's not very I don't know, noisy, is it, the thirty one?
Yeah, but it's still not very... That bit sounds quite good. He just, I don't know, he just, I don't know. Number 31, you're too quiet at the back of the class. Does, I quite like the clickety clack, clackety click, clickety clack, clackety click thing. I do miss the sound of non welded track. It's quite bouncy. I do like a bit of bounce. I've seen no other trains though. That's that's I'm not saying it's concerning, but it is a thing. Yeah, this route's mainly freight stuff. There are some passenger routes obviously because I'm doing one. Um, but there's a lot of freight things on the Tees Valley line. It's shifting T around here at the valley. Start doing the slowing down. I maybe did the slowing down thing a bit too early. A little bit. Ooh, uh, just a little bit. Ooh, uh, a little bit more. It's the Yorkshire Valley is not well. I'll say the Yorkshire Valley is where you can hear people who's going out bloody much. It was that. That was me. Of in, in case you didn't know. In case you're a bit confused, that was me. Don't stop, don't stop. Really nice steps or something like that. That'll do. That's done the stopping thing. We have arrived at this place. Red car. So why is there a 31 pulling the 101? Is the 101 knackered then? And they just need to use it to, you know, move people. Otherwise, everyone would just be crammed in the engine room, which would be slightly of the uh, of the inconvenience. I didn't actually read it to say, you know, why it was being... But I just thought it's a 31 and it's a passenger route and that'll do. I can't bother with the gears. Yeah, I just... Someone needs to do a mod with the 101 just to take away the whole manual gear change thing. <laughs> then I'd use it. I just don't like the gear change thing because it's clunky to do it. Oh, excuse me. Right, locking doors. That's that's me. Red Car Central. Well, who knew that was a thing, apart from people up here. Brakes are being released. In theory, we should roll forward then, when they've done the releasing. Because, you know, downhill and all that. Here we go. Oh, see, that's just <clears throat> smooth. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Right, 0.9 of a mile to go to Red Car, which isn't that far really, it's just less than a mile. So it's 0.9. If it's more than a mile, it would be 1 point or 2 point or anything higher than 1 is le more than a mile. Anything less than 1 is less than a mile. Uh, it's educational as well, being here, see? Help. I need somebody, not just anybody. 
Help with what? I do need help, but we need lots of help, but you know, what can I help you with? Ladies and gentlemen, the next station stop will be Red Car Central. Get out here for Red Car Central. I think this uh, scenario goes there and comes back again. So I wonder if we'll push it coming back or whether we'll just we'll run around. Run around! Who did that? That was a game show with Matey Boy, Mike Reed. Where's the red car? Over there in the car park. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching a red car. Where this train will attempt to stop. Oh, that's pretty. I want to go in the undercovered one. That looks nicer. That does look quite a nice little... Why is half of it... Okay. Half of it's under the cover. Under the sea. No, under cover. Um, and the other half, well, isn't. It's quite cool. I like, <coughs> I like that platform. It's quite nice. The doors are open. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Red Car. I will have a jelly baby. I'm going to find a red one. Looks I can't see. Oops, excuse me. Ah, see, the whole parking near the steps thing didn't really go down well here, did it? Walk down the steps and it's like, oh, we've got to walk all the way back down there. Uh, Crystal Palace. The place where Ethan took us as an exciting place to go. That was a place that I wanted to go anyway. That place. Never doing that again. We'll end up back in London in a few weeks time. Uh, was that the roof was only halfway? Yes, it was. It was quite nice. Uh, oh yeah, red car, British steel. Let's see, I was right. I'm not as stupid as Crispy looks. No one, and I mean no one, could be that stupid. Right, red car, British steel. One point seven. I think this is one of the most least. What? Hang on, that was a sentence. One of the most least used. One of the least used stations in the UK, isn't it? Red car, British steel. There's one that's used on match days only. That isn't used very much. Because it's only used on match days, somewhere. Isn't there an airport one that's no nowhere near an airport as well? Right, red car, British steel is next. Speaking of the, oh God, <coughs> hang on, I'm dying. <clears throat> if I could speak. Speaking of least used stations, uh, I am venturing again. I'm definitely not a real train geek, am I? Um, venturing again to another brand new station in a couple of weeks. Marsh Barton. Down near Exeter. I will be there. Maybe not on the first day, but certainly on the second day it's open. An airport one that's not near an airport. You obviously don't watch all of Jeff Marshall's videos, do you? 
there's a, a stage, train station with airport in its name that's nowhere near the airport that it's supposed to be near. And it's not the one in Cardiff. Right, red car, British steel. What do you do all day? You've literally had like the last three months of doing nothing. Probably longer than that. Actually, we don't want to know what he does all day. The airport station is Teesside Airport. There we go. Oh yeah, for those watching live uh, as well, I'm streaming all the way through now until next Friday. So I'll be here every day. Um, and then won't be streaming on the Saturday because we're going to the bus fest thing. Uh, then we'll be here on the Sunday and the Monday. And then I'm taking a week off. Uh, so the next stream after that will be the following Tuesday. I am going oot and a boot. Right, we now arrive at Red Car British Steel. I can't honestly see that there'd be that many people here. Unless it's a commuter thing, I suppose. People starting and ending the shifts. Imagine they probably do an early train for the early shift and things. People to go places and do th things to, to and from the work thing. So lots of people trudging off the train slowly in the mornings. And uh, excitedly getting uh, on the train to go home in the evenings. Teesside Airport Station is now closed to passenger traffic. That's useful. That's some hair. You've got a lot of hair. The next stop is, uh, well, a stop. Locked doors. That's not the name of the stop. That's the that's contraction. South Bank. Going to London, isn't it, Gov? And off we go. Next station, 3.1 miles, is going to be South Bank. <laughs> it travelled down the country quick. There's a train coming the other way. Oh my god. I'm guessing this was set in what, the 80s then? If there's 101 still around? Blimey, so another station gone. Stokey. Okay. Alright, it's 2.8 miles to South Bank. Eighty-nine, and there was still been one hundred and ones running in eighty-nine. Blimey! 
I would have thought it would have been like 158 or something. Bizarre. Okay, we've got a 55 approaching, two miles to South Bank. Do a bit of coasting. Uh, tomorrow night, by the way, uh, it's Stevie gets told off by Crispy Simulator. Uh, some more um, Portal 2 multiplayer. Friday night uh, isn't music night. Um, Friday night is um, Forza night. Saturday lunchtime, I'll be back here with some more Train Sim World 3. Uh, doing uh, something else, no idea what yet. Um, Saturday night, we've got some breakfast. Uh, Sunday afternoon on the farm and Monday I will be here I uh, don't normally stream on a Monday night but I can show you the Glossop route on Monday uh, it releases on Tuesday um, so I'll be streaming that on Monday night next week and then straight through then till next Friday Well, it would limit them a bit then, Crispy, wouldn't it? It was. I don't know things about trains. I know nothing. So I don't think this is a very long line because it's mainly designed around freight and the movement of said freight. But it's not about the length of your line. Places we stopped were well, a couple of them actually. Don't seem to be very residential. They all seem to be quite industrial. So I can't imagine this gets a lot of foot traffic. Hey, that weren't bad for me. People are get, where's the how do you what? Oh I see, yeah, gotta go out the station down there, down the ramp, up over the bridge and over there. Okay, that's where are you going then? Oh you're just going up there, you're gonna go look at the train. One of those train weirdos that goes to the front of the train, take a picture. It's quite interesting spending time with train weirdos. You've just got to make allowances to the fact that they're going to go and take pictures of train signs and fronts of trains and train take pictures as the train approaches and it's quite an odd, odd experience. I'm still not totally sort of convinced that I, I like it, but it's quite interesting to watch. It's like, it's like watching a, a baboon. In a in a zoo, you, you feel sorry for it, but you'll sit and watch it anyway. Uh, Middlesbrough. Oh, that's a town. City. Whatever it is. Place. By odd, oh, do you mean interesting? You can take it that way. Hang on, is that the Middlesbrough? Or is it just somewhere else called Middlesbrough? Is that spelt wrong? I thought it was B-O-R-O-U-G-H. I don't think it's... It could be. But I'm not sure if it is. I thought it was Middlesbrough. 
and not Middlesbrough or Middlesbrough. Or is it just me? So it's the Middlesbrough. I don't know. I don't know this part of the country. It is correct. Okay, so it's me being an idiot. Just, you know, just so I know. So yeah, I think we get to a point and then we um, we come back again. I'm running late, obviously, because me, I don't care. I do wish it was longer than just a loco haul 2 car, but it's a loco haul 101 really. Yep, good. Don't say it, Crispy. We got a 35 limit. You're used to a shorter one. Um, and then 1.2 miles to the place where we do the stopping. So why aren't we stopping here? We were a stoppy type service. Let's apply a bit of breakage, aren't I? a semi-fast service. Wow, yeah. Formed of two coaches, yeah. So Middlesbrough, oh yeah, Middlesbrough has got a transporter bridge. Uh, I know Newport has. I'm guessing this is our turnaround point then. I really enjoyed being in um, Train Sim Classic last night, but I, I, I definitely prefer Train Sim World. Turn around right now, but I could. They're probably facing the wrong way though, so I don't have a clue what was going on. I read somewhere on Twitter yesterday that there was a London to I want to say like London to Paynton or something like that 166 they put a 166 on the on the route I wouldn't mind that Okay, we are now arriving at Middlesbrough. Well, was it, wasn't it a difficult sentence, Crispy? Are you having trouble understanding? Where did I find it? On Twitter. I don't know who. I don't follow, I, I mean, people I follow, I don't know who they are. Hey, now that's not bad. We've now arrived at Middlesbrough. Get off here if you go into Middlesbrough or places that connect with Middlesbrough. If you're not getting off, then don't. Will this day on? See if I like it. I 
Just look to the weather. Moderate thunderstorms. Yay! I weren't... You weren't lying. About what? The 166 thing. Of course I wasn't. Uh, right, locked doors. Oh, stop at Thornaby. Oh, we're not done then. Okay. One six six is not that uncomfortable. I wouldn't have liked to have done the whole journey on it because it's a bit noisy. I must have just not had something to do the route. It's like, what have we got? It's like when you go and hire a, a van and the only thing they got left is a, a, a 10 year old um, Renault. And you're like, oh. When I worked at a decorator's merchant and we went to hire vans, I asked for the oldest, crappiest thing they've got because it was going to go on building sites and inevitably have paints built in the back of it. We didn't like having new stuff. What's wrong with a little Renault? Well, it's the fact you want to transit, didn't you? If you're hiring a van, you want to transit. Right, Thornaby is uh, next in 2.7 miles. I'm not sure if this is the last stop. We'll find out. I thought it was an hour and five minute scenario, but I thought it was go there, turn around and come back again. Obviously not. Well, it might be. I'm just very late. I think this route would be quite suited to a 150, you know. Do we do that? If it's an hour route, do we do a bit of a train swap? And come back with a something a bit more modern on it, see how it copes. You can have Reliant Robin as a van. That'll be the Regal though. My brother in law had a Reliant Kitten, which was basically a Robin with four wheels. And then they did the Fox as well. There was also a van. But that could be, you could add that as a, like a pickup as well. Okay, 1.8 miles from Thornaby. See, that's the sort of exciting things we're going to be talking about when we go to the Motor Museum. So when we're outside where the buses are, avoid crispy and Derek. Uh, when we're inside where the cars are, avoid me and Derek. There's a theme there. We're doing a meet-up on the 1st of July at the uh, British Motor Museum up near Warwick. Uh, and there's a bus fest, bus festival on that day. first time I actually met Derek uh, was last year when we did, we did the Motor Museum as the first one he'd attended and uh, I met Nico there and uh, was just stood wandering around waiting for Derek to arrive and then he uh, then he appeared and we haven't got rid of him since Okay, Thornaby. Should 
much also could be said of the purple one when he appeared at uh, York. Right, single yellow. And a red. Uh oh. Well, it's the other side of the station, so that's not too bad. A nice, very slow approach in. So is this a dead end? Is this going to be our final? Well, not necessarily. Why is that flashing? That's a wide platform. I'm guessing this used to have a middle bay in it and they just took them away. there's a road used to come down yeah i reckon there's a couple of bays in there they probably used to come down the road and load onto wagons from the road so there probably was two more platforms that were in the middle as it were uh hi sim freight stuff yeah you know loading on with the with the thing and the loading from the road with the ramp and the thing to load the stuff on the, the thing and then use the thing to take the stuff away that's what they did how's the week gone for me uh started poor and improved today good day the southwest trains guy hello sif I'm, I'm not a cleaning agent but thank you anyway um hello locking doors right are we turning around objective complete stop at eagles cliff um okay so maybe it isn't a bad length of thing. I'm not going to look to see how many stops we've got. I'm intrigued now. Uh, it has improved. It improved for me yesterday afternoon. No. Yeah, last night. Sorry, when, when I streamed. Uh, there was improvement. And uh, improvement today. Good work day, good personal day. I'm slightly confused. I, d d yeah. Uh, they do. Uh, last night's did. I'm still taking a break from them though in a couple of weeks' time. Right, so we're two and a half miles from Eagles Cliff. And then uh, somewhere. So what do we want to do? Do we come back in? Do we do the return? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to complete this sentence. <laughs> do we do the return trip in a scenario 
or do we use a DMU and make up our own scenario thing and come back in that? It wasn't really worth the wait, was it? Do something. I, this, I think this lends itself to a DMU, doesn't it? Uh, I don't want to use the 101 because gears. I'm thinking a 150 or something like that. And then just do the return thing. We might be able to stop at more of the stations that we didn't stop at this way. That could be a thing. But yeah, I'm liking the line. It's really nice. It's very nice. I don't know why I, I had visions of it being, or memories of it being, a really short line. It's not, because we've been going, what, 48 minutes so far? Well, we left at... No, because I, I was sat waiting for the stream to start, so this, this route started at 2pm. No, it didn't. Yes, it did, didn't it? No, because I started the route after the thing, didn't I? No, I started the route before the thing. Yeah, the journey started at 2pm. And then I waited a couple of minutes to start the stream. So, yeah, about 50 minutes of the route so far. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Uh, this is set in 1989. Uh, Tees Valley is sort of Middlesbrough away. A bit of the country no one could probably point to on the map. Unless you're from Mid actually, even if you're from Middlesbrough, you're probably about to point to it on the map. Yeah, it's that bit in it. It's a bit like Leeds. People, most people know where Manchester is, um, and you sort of rough idea of like where Nottingham and Derby are. It's the bit like east of Manchester or a bit northeast of Manchester nobody knows where any of that stuff is and what's there it's just there's just things there's, there's towns and things and then you end up in like people know where Liverpool is yeah got that and then Scotland that's it there's just, and there's just this void bit in the middle Okay, might not be stopping here. Oh, I do. We had the overruns. I've been doing okay, actually, but I, the, the distance yardy thing, I was thought it's for. I didn't think I was stopping at this station. Uh, yeah, I will be do I'll be streaming Glossop on Monday night. It releases next Tuesday, uh, but I'll be streaming it on Monday. And if I get a chance over the weekend, I will pre-record some content to go out on Monday morning. So my first look will go out on YouTube Monday morning, uh, and I'll be streaming the Glossop route on Monday night. I haven't looked at it myself yet. I only installed it yesterday. So I probably won't look at it until the weekend. I did nearly overshoot it. We were just saying, Derek, by the way, that at BusFest next weekend, um, we've got to avoid you uh, outside where the buses are and then also avoid you inside where the cars are. So basically just avoid you and also avoid Crispy outside. I think we should just get you and Crispy just to wander off together and talk buses. Uh, right, stop at Allen's West. 
Ethan would just be wandering around, like not knowing anything about anything, looking for the, looking for the trains. I think he's only going because of his love for me. That's the only reason Crispy's going. In all fairness, Alan, 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 Steve, 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 Steve. Oh, there's a bit of an interchange, a diamond interchange going on there, look. Okay, Allen's West. So there can't be that many more stations to go. I think it's an hour and five minute route, which is quite cool. I was sure it was a turn around and go back again. And if it is an hour and five minute line, I'm quite impressed. Okay, so I haven't been going that fast. Because of the whole stupid brakes thing. And I think we will do the return trip. Uh, Alan West was Batman, yeah. Um, I think we will do the return trip in a 150. I can't use the liveries on it, I don't think. Or is it Bruce? Didn't Robin do porn? Dorset? Yeah, that's stopping. So, some of the trains on the platform. Doors opened. Allen's West. Some sort of airfield. Is that an airfield? I called out some sort of hangary type thing over there. And fields. Yeah, it's, it's roots better than I thought it was going to be. an Alan to the <laughs> clowns to the left of me jokers to the right here I am stuck in the middle with you You just put it on CD keys. What, this route? It's really good. I do like it. It's, it's very freighty. Teesside Airport. Oh, blimey. Okay, we are going to some disused stations. I'm liking this even more. Well, underused stations. Yeah, definitely longer than I thought it was going to be. Why haven't I done this route a lot before? I've done none of the scenarios on this. Um, and none of the timetable routes. Is this one I've just never done? Maybe I haven't. Freighty. Yeah. Four forty-nine. That is what some would call an bargain. I really like it. It's very nice, very nice route. Very nice, it is very nice. Wicked man, in it. It's wicked. I put my baseball cap on backwards. Freighty, it's freighty, like weighty, bit like farty, but not.
Yeah, tomorrow night, by the way, it's my weekly dose of being told off by Crispy uh, in Portal 2 multiplayer. So if you want to see, uh, want to see me feel really like, like, like told off, uh, then tune in tomorrow. Um, Friday night, we're back with some um, Forza uh, Horizon 5 multiplayer racing type thing. Saturday lunchtime, more trains in World 3, uh, where I'll be doing something. Uh, and then Saturday night, we got some Wreckfest. I've done that for a little while. Uh, Sunday afternoon, back on the farm. And then, as I said, I will be here Monday uh, doing Gloss Up. Tuesday then will be uh, Train Sim Classic. Wednesday, uh, we may finally get round to doing some flight. Um, next Thursday will be something, maybe farming. Um, next Friday night will be balls. Uh, nothing on the next Saturday because we're at Bus Fest. Next Sunday will be farming and something on Sunday evening. I will then be streaming on the Monday and then I'm taking a week off. There'll be no streams then from that Monday all the way through sort of following Tuesday. I think that's the first time I've taken a week off streams in three years. Right, so 0.8 miles to Teesside Airport that apparently is nowhere near the airport. Oh, I'm still going to be in Discord because I'm going to be out and about doing stuff. So there'll be pictures of places I'm going and things I'm doing. I won't be without the Discord. Oh no, it's just because I want to go out and about. Uh, I won't necessarily be back because I've got a few long days planned to stream in the evenings. Um, and so I won't, certainly won't be around for lunchtime streams. So it's easy just to say, look, I won't be streaming. And it's certainly, I won't be doing any on, certainly on the, uh, um, the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then, yeah, the Sunday. Yeah, yeah, I'm off, I'm off work. Yeah, a week, that week in July, then I got a week in September, um, and then that's it till Christmas. We are arriving slowly at Teesside Airport. And there is the airport. That's quite close to the airport. Surely the airport's just there. But you say this isn't doing passenger operations anymore. Oh, I see. Perhaps it's because of the infrequency of this service that it just wasn't popular. Then imagine it is a bit of a walk with your bags. I have no one to cover my streams. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my my substitute streamer. I'll say I the Monday I'll be streaming because I got the cars in for his MOT and service. So I got dropped off in the morning. So I'll do a, a lunchtime stream and evening stream. Tuesday I got nothing planned. I might go out somewhere during the day. So there may be a Tuesday evening stream. Um, then, yeah, I certainly won't be streaming on the Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Because um, I'm out and about. You have to go to Darlington to get to Teesside. E. Right, so I'm guessing, are we now, is this next going to be the, there's words, is the next station going to be the, the last one? Dinsdale. Blimey, we're still going. Okay. It, okay, with each stop now, this route's actually impressing me more. Uh, yes, Liam. Uh, so I will be showing that next Monday in the stream. 
I've not seen any content on it for myself. Um, I will pre-record a little video ready to go out on Monday morning. Um, but I will be streaming it Monday night. Okay, so Dinsdale's next. Well, I think the whole guard thing is just a trial. They've done it on one scenario, on one line, to see A, how popular it is, and I think B, how it works. Whether they could then roll it out retrospectively to other lines, don't know. Whether it'll be something you'll be able to do in future, hopefully. Uh, I also think it lends itself very well to multiplayer. Two-player multiplayer. One drives the train, one does the guardy thing. A slight bit of speeding here. But yeah, at the moment it's just one scenario. And it is a bit, you know, you've got to press certain buttons at a certain time. It, I don't think, from what I've heard, it's a, a free thing. But, you know, we'll see. So we'll show that on Monday. Dinsdale next and then I'm guessing because I'm a few minutes late I'm guessing then it's going to be our final stop and if it is I'm even more impressed with this line because that's over an hour okay I'm in a slow uh, class 31 and I haven't exactly been speeding Done. Unlocking left. All the doors are being unlocked. Would they have had mass locking and unlocking on this? I think they would have done, would they? That era, it was still the fact you could just open the door as you're going along. I do remember getting off of 125s when I was a kid while it was still moving. Which, you try and tell someone that now, um, they'd be like, what? Yeah, you, you open the door as you come into the station. You used to slide the thing down, open, the, put your arm out, open the door from the outside, and you'd be getting off the train while it was still moving. Health and safety wouldn't let you do that now. And it's just everyone did it. Everyone was like, yep, yeah, that'll do. Right, Darlington. Three miles. I'm guessing Darlington is our last stop. Oh, yeah. I right, will look now. Yeah, Darlington's our final stop. That's a hell of a run, then. Uh, yeah, Route Masters. Used to get on and off while they were still moving.
I've never been on a route master. I like the gearbox on them because they're a pre-select gearbox. Um, I've driven a bus with a pre-select gearbox. Um, which was really cool. But the Route Masters you could run in like pre-select or you could just leave it in like full auto. Right, so 2.3 miles from Darlington, and then what we'll do... Oh god no, the Boris bus is horrid. I've only been on one of them, I think it was one, one of them. So if I do the return trip from Darlington back the other, other way, in, uh, I don't know, do we do it in a 150? I think that'd fit on here, wouldn't it? But yeah, if, if you want a good route to buy, I don't know why I've done nothing on this before. Uh, buy it. Just just buy it. £4.49, I think it was. Um, as Dorset said on CD keys. Uh, just go and buy it. It's got to be worth £4.49 if you're on PC. There you go. Thank you, Crispy. Okay, we've got a 35 limit. Actually, the 31's not been too bad to drive. Some of the trains with vacuum brakes are a pain in the backside. But this has actually been quite simple. And I like simple things. And simple people. You need to find the cash for Train Sim World first. Uh, that's probably not expensive on CD keys, in all fairness. Right, platform four. Into Darlington we come. Have you ever been to Darlington? Very stationy looking building up ahead. I'm guessing that's the station. Let's 
slightly offset from the main line. Right, and we come to Darlington. It's quite an impressive station. stop all the way down the so all that station <laughs> and we stop all the way down here passengers are thinking why the bloody hell he stops all the way down there We will unlock the doors and let the idiots off. There we go. Nobody wants to get off at Darlington. So yeah, 27 miles. Is that all it was? Yeah, it took an hour. One hour and 15 minutes. Um, but there we go. What a brilliant line. I don't know why I haven't done anything on that before. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, right. So let's go back and do our own scenario then. Um, so yeah, Glossop, Manchester to Hadfield and Glossop. Uh, I will be streaming that on Monday night. Uh, so don't forget to tune in for that one. Uh, I will try and put a little first look bit out on YouTube on Monday morning. I uh, can't show any of it until 10 a.m. on Monday, unfortunately. So I'll be streaming it Monday night. Um, but uh, yeah, looking forward to that one with a class 323. Um, but let's do... Um, uh, let's do this. Scenario planet. Let's go Tease Valley. We'll create new. We'll call it 123. And we'll add a new service. So we are going to go from Darlington, uh, platform four, uh, to no, we're not. Yes, we are. Darlington platform four to Saltburn. That's the whole length of the line. It will spur off around there as well. Uh, confirm and select destination. Well, we just done that, didn't we? Saltburn platform two. There we go. And should we stop at every one? It might take a while. Middlesbrough Cargo Fleet, South Bank, Grangetown, Red Car British Steel, Red Car Central, Red Car East, Longbeck. We'll stop at every single station on the way back. How's that? That's going to be a thing. And we'll do it um, in the. It's got to be the 150, doesn't it? Uh, and in the Simpson stuff livery and we'll call it one two three passenger route 12 o'clock uh, save play right then let's make the return trip uh, remember I'll do this now okay okay so master key Unlocked. Reverse that into forward. We'll open the window. We'll open the window. Uh, headlights are on day. We are in the awesome uh, Sims and Stuff livery available uh, from the uh, Creators Club. Uh, right, stop at Dinsdale, platform two.
Right, the return trip then. Tail lights are on and no headlight. Look, what more do you want from me? That'll do. Realism. Really? This is me. Oh, slightly speeding. <laughs> you don't know me at all, do you, Derek? Headlights supposed to be on. Headlight is on, it's just very dim. Right. Back we go. Long way for that train to Penzance. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. We borrowed it. A bit like we went to Barry Island. There was the... Uh, Uh, there you go. No, we'll go to uh, we'll go to St Ives instead. I mean, I went to Barry Island. It was Northern trains, wasn't there? Uh, Barry Island, summer. Ba Barry Island, yeah. Barry Island, summer. I may be returning to again in a couple of weeks' time. Apparently, my third instalment of Cardiff again. I know again. Well, it's almost like a right. It's almost like a thing you've got to do now. You go to Cardiff. You go to Barry Island. I think my week offs can be quite uh, packed with things. I'm organising a skip. Um, no, you should have to do the bay now. Yeah, I'm organising a skip for my first day's holiday as well to basically take the content to the spare room, take it outside and put it in a skip. So I'll almost need another uh, week off to recover from the week off. Bay is closed till the tram start running. Oh, that's a shame. It sort of makes sense. Not that far, is it? Yeah, the lovely uh, pride livery on this, as designed by a certain annoying green bastard. Available in the um, Creators Club. Right, I've got to get used to these brakes now being that they're normal brakes.
Yeah, so we've done um, Darlington. The Darlington? We're now going back to Dinsdale. or No, not Dinsdale. Back to the other Saltburg. Saltburg thing. The place. The other place. I don't pay attention to the names. Okay, that's a bit scraping the paint, but, you know, it's in there. You might need to do a bit of a touch-up on the paint on that side, Crispy. We'll be reopening temporarily for 25th of June for an unknown period of time. Or in that case, I've got to go back and do the bay then. That's a lot of, lot of people sinking into the ground. What's going on down there? Where are they all going? Uh, excuse me, pe people. What do you... That guy's just ahead. I've fallen into the platform. I can't get out. <laughs> what are they doing? I'm guessing they've got confused because it's quite close to the edge of the platform. Where the hell? Jesus Christ. Ah, okay, Superman is on the train. <laughs> the guy's just... No, I'm just going to stay here. Right, Teesside Airport is next, 1.7 miles. I actually think this might be a slower return trip than the, the trip on the way up. Oh, speeding. So yeah, so we're going to stop at some stations this time that we didn't stop at the other time. brakes mate oh no okay not a little bit of brakes then give it the beans There we go. Change up. Thank you. Just as I've now got to be half a mile away from doing a slowy down thing. It's almost a shame you can't get off here anymore. Right, can they negotiate this platform? Or the order's going to fail again? Oh no, they're getting up. Okay, yep, that's right. Okay, they're, they're coming out from underneath the train. A train that's going to St. Ives. Seven cats, kittens, wives, and elephants, whatever it was.
<laughs> Even getting confused getting on. It's like, nope. Oh, there we go. That's a lot of people. Right, locked doors. Allen's West. Two point six miles for Allen. Yeah, definitely really like the route. It is very nice. Well worth the uh, investment. Fifty mile an hour limit coming up, but it's such a nicer place to be than Train Sim Classic. Uh, when I come back after my week's break, uh, I will be changing the schedule around. Uh, doing um, a few different things on a few different days um, and also trying to work out the idea we discussed last night um, I really want to do something um, more of a chatty type thing um, with like a TV or film or music sort of edge to it and I don't quite know how so it will appear in like I don't know whether to do it as a stream format so people can interact live or I might just make just pre-recorded with a couple of people um, but yeah certainly something new uh, coming up after my little break so as it's pointed out um, last night you know we've got the the sims part of sims and stuff uh, maybe it's time to add in a bit of the stuff. And see how it goes. Something I've always wanted to do is have just like a chatting type thing, discussing a topic or a couple of topics. Um, but it's just what to do in the background. That's going to be my thing. I did say stuff and not stuffing. Um, well, no, the discussion, I think you weren't here last night. Discussion, something I've always had an interest in, in wanting to do is either well potentially set up another discord server um but having more aimed around entertainment um i like a lot of tv shows i like a lot of obscure tv shows I've got a lot of interest in like old tv shows um i like music um and like films and i've always wanted to do something where there's a section to discuss a certain show uh, so my favorite tv show in the world is called the west wing um i've looked for online discussions and forums to discuss that show um, and at the moment I'm watching an episode at night after the stream um, so to have somebody you can go right this is the episode I'm watching tonight um, 
this is what I liked about it. This is, you know, I really like this bit. I like those lines. I love what that character did. Um, to have somewhere to discuss that. Um, and had the discussion last night of, um, again, something I do with, um, uh, with someone in the Discord um, is once a week we'll get together uh, and watch a TV show. So episode by episode at the same time. And then also once a week uh, watch a film. So get yourselves ready, use Discord, go right, play, and then watch the film and discuss it briefly, albeit afterwards. Something I, I, I'd like to do in the in the Discord is something similar, so almost like a weekly book club type thing, but have a show and go right. This is a show. We're going to start for episode one, um, and go right. You've got a week to watch this episode uh, and then at this point we'll discuss it it's difficult to tie people down to watching it at a certain time um, but if you gave someone a week or a couple of days so over this weekend uh, you've got to watch this episode it's 45 minutes um, watch it we'll then make some notes and then we'll discuss it whether it's on a live stream or whether it's something we'll just get in voice and then just record for like 20 minutes not something long form potentially and then put that out on youtube and hope there's some interest in it it gets people watching something they wouldn't necessarily watch which i've watched a lot of tv shows and films um that i wouldn't have necessarily watched and really enjoyed a lot of anime stuff that i've really enjoyed um so almost like a podcast but I, I'm not I'm not against doing the whole uh, camera thing pointing at me I'm not a fan of it so it's and I know podcasts work better when you can see the person although I listen to a couple where you can't so sometimes podcasts are good to listen to you don't have to watch them so it's either we just sit and chat um, with nothing going on in the background and just talk about the episode um, and that's it but so I don't think it would work to stream it because then you couldn't really talk about the thing that's on in the background unless you just streamed it and put I don't know the the channel art or the the picture on the screen of the episode or like the logo of the show just on in the background so it's just a static image I don't know. It's, it's something I, I've, I've liked, I'd like to do. Um, basically, I want to talk about the shows I like and the shows I watch um, with people that are also watching them. So that I can go, you know, episode of The West Wing I watched last night was like was amazing. Um, which I find most episodes are. So to be able to then watch it and jump into a chat and go, wow, just watch this episode. It's one of my favourites. And then have people go, oh yeah, I love that. Which I know is going to be tough at the beginning because there's going to be no one in the Discord. But then by doing a show about, you know, I'd like to do something on the West Wing personally. Um, to do something about a particular show um, would mean when that goes on YouTube, chances are you would then gain an audience that also likes that particular show. So I'm not saying do something on that same show each week, but you could do. Um, I think there's a series out there where people watch pilot episodes. There's something out there. So you could go, right, we'll watch. If there's, say, I don't know, if there's, say, six people interested in doing it, right? You can go, right, watch your favourite TV show ever. Blah, blah, blah. Got a list of six shows. That's six weeks. You watch the first episode of that show and talk about it. What do you like? What do you not like? What made you continue to watch it? Who are the strong characters? What's the great storyline? Is it worth continuing with? How many episodes was it? How long did it run for? You know, do a, almost a bit of research with it as well. So it can be informative. Hopefully enjoyable. Bit of humour. And then that goes out on the YouTubes. People then join up the Discord and go, yeah, that's my favourite show. So with each um, episode you do, you can almost have a, 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 a sub room devoted to that show so people go oh yeah the west wing oh i love the west wing 
there's a whole topic conversation. If it's the professionals, right, week two, the professionals, right, what do you like about it? Oh, the cars are the star, the, the fashion, the storylines, um, you know, really good. Then you get people, that goes out on YouTube, people that hopefully watch it, then go, actually, I'm interested in that. Oh, there's a Discord, I'll go and join in. Before you know it, you, you're building this community with an interest in all sorts of shows. And like me, you could end up then watching a show that you hadn't thought that you would ever watch. You know, I, I watch a load of shows. Um, I love the uh, autumn season or the fall season in the States because you get a lot of new shows. Some of them I watch first episode and go, no, nah, pile of crap, not watching that again. Others you watch it and go, wow, that's good. Uh, one I'm watching at the moment uh, called Silo on Apple TV. Fantastic. From the first episode um, was just like amazing. Um so yeah so there could be those things where you know you could link in the channel you could link the, the the trailer for the show so the youtube trailer so people can watch it and go actually that does look quite interesting and that's the, normally the first thing that sparks me um and then people might watch it and go actually that's not my cup of tea which i do with some shows some people might watch it and go actually it's my cup of tea i quite like the idea of that so whether it's new shows whether it's shows that have finished um you know, there's, there's some shows that I, I'd love to go back and re-watch again that have been on for like 20 years. So it's, it's, I, it's something I've got an interest in. Um, so it could be starting off with TV shows because they're easy. It could be, it could be music section, um, films. So again, I watch a film every Sunday afternoon. Um, me and Larwood from the Discord have been doing it for years. Uh, we take it in turns picking a film. Um, so one week it's his pick. Next week it's my pick. Uh, we sit down on a Sunday afternoon, watch the film at the same time. Um, and there's been some really, really enjoyable films that I've watched that I never thought I would watch. Um, there's been some that I haven't enjoyed, but I'll sit there and watch them. And I should imagine it's the same for Larwood. Um, we watch TV shows together as well. Sometimes a couple a week. Two different shows we'll watch um it gets me not necessarily away from the computer and i'm not saying that's a good thing but it gets me watching and not just sitting and spending my time watching youtube um it gets me engrossed in a in a new show and yeah doing something else and i think if it was something where it's like right okay we're gonna just you know sunday night um, we're going to sit and record this week's episode. It's going to be about this show. You've got the weekend to watch it, um, make some notes, and then join in with the chat. It's making you watch something you wouldn't necessarily watch, um, and then chat about it. It may be that you'd go, actually, I'm going to carry on watching that, because that was just fantastic. Or it could be, yeah, that wasn't great. Um, not going to bother. You know, it could be brand new shows. It could be, you know, um, the new, se new series comes on the BBC. Is it any good? Right. Well, we'll watch it and we'll tell you about it. So it could be brand new shows. It's just, I don't know. It's just something that's uh, an idea. We didn't, do we stop here on the way down? Oh, this is the one with the road thing. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe a rating system or something, as, as people do, you know, you, you give it a score out of so many somethings and go, right, overall then, uh, between the how many people it scored this. So a bit like Rotten Tomatoes, where you give it a rating, you know, we give it a rating between us of whatever. And, you know, should you watch it? Yes, no, maybe. Uh, Thornaby. I uh, wasn't paying attention. Could be. Um, it was Thornaby. So I just locked some doors. Yeah, I did. I pressed a button. Uh, so yeah, that's one of my thoughts for 
doing something new uh, and something a bit uh, a bit different. Yeah, that flickering light was on the way in as well. Right, Middlesbrough. So yeah, it, it made me something I might just try solo if there's no interest for people joining in. It could just be like a five minute thing. I don't know. I, I, it's just, I don't know. I've said the, um, the technical difficulties uh, when they've done uh, two of these people lying or one of these people lying where it was and that bit where they picked a Wikipedia article and had to discuss it. Uh, we talked back then of doing like a round table type discussion which I just think the amount of idiots we've got in the Discord that could just sit and talk crap. Um, I think having talking crap with a, a loose subject, I think actually could be quite entertaining. Yeah, you know, and it could be... So I like the idea of doing something new. So no one has seen it before. So, right, it's a brand new show. Let's all watch it uh, and see what it's like. And it could be that, you know, is there a show that maybe everyone should have watched? So one of those big hyped shows that's supposed to be fantastic that no one actually has watched. It could be your favourite show. It could be a show that just flopped. You know, there's a few shows out there that only lasted like one season. Right, why did it flop? Let's watch it. Let's watch the first episode. Why was it that bad? Or shows that only ever made it to the pilot. So, you know, not a lot of effort put into it. You know, 45 minutes, an hour. Make some notes, sit and have a chat, done. I think if it was just being recorded for YouTube... I think short form, so 20 minutes, simple chat. This is the episode. This is where you can find it. Um, so it has to be something that's available on like streaming services or whatever. So that's still available for people to go and find or watch. Or some of the older shows, episodes on YouTube and stuff. Um, well, exactly, Stokey. That's my point, you know. TV shows that we perhaps grew up with, stuff like, you know, we talked about even shows like Bagpuss and Mr. Ben. Um, I don't quite remember, like, Trumpton and Camboy Green and that sort of stuff. But the sort of, even things like Friends, I bet the younger generation now wouldn't have watched Friends. But that was such an iconic show of, like, the 90s. So, well, come back and watch the first episode of Friends. Is it still good? Does it still stand up today? Is it still worth watching? Um, so, yeah, things like that. But, again, that could be something that would make people watch it. So, you know, again, in the YouTube description, you could go, right, here's a link to the trailer. Uh, here's us chatting about the first episode. Um... And let's give you, you know, in a short 20 minute, 15, 20 minute video for how many people there is, discuss, is it any good? Should you watch it? Uh, how long did it run? Um, who are the main characters? What's, you know, a, a brief synopsis. What's it about? What was the, what's the storyline? So you might go, actually, it does sound quite interesting. Um, you couldn't replay really any other show because of copyright. Um, so, yeah, the background image of the video could just be the the logo of the show um or whether you just have a i don't know whether there'll be just a, a generic background with the in one corner the logo of the show i don't know I, I haven't thought about things that far yet but i i personally think it could be quite interesting and alongside it a discord server where people could then 
watch the video if they like it join the discord chat about it yeah friends is my favorite show ever loved it and people then have a discussion about it and then you build a community Yeah, you've got to be careful, Crispy. And that's something, again, I, I can look into. Um, from my point of view, though, that involves editing. Because <laughs> you'd have to then put in clips of the show. And I, I don't want to do that. Editing, for me, ruins the flow. Uh, which is why nothing I've ever done has been... Well, mainly nothing I've ever done has been edited. Apart from stealing the train video. Um, so I think just hitting record and talking and then stopping with a background running through OBS... Um, which you could change scenes. I know that. I could do that on the fly. Um, I just think that would work better without having to chop bits of conversation and edit it. Right. Cargo Fleet is next. We didn't stop here on the way down. But yeah, so I got a week off coming up in a uh, week and a bit's time, uh, first week of July, taking a few days off. Um, when I come back, there's going to be a change of streaming schedule, um, and we'll try and add something in, and then have some discussions about things. Again, moving my computer into the other room will give me opportunities that when I do get people here, crispy. Um, and Derek um, I can actually set up audio correctly so that you can actually physically sit around the table and have a discussion Yeah, cargo fleet coming up. Oh, it doesn't like a very big platform. Can't be as tiny as those ones on the uh, Heart of Wales line. Yeah, so this isn't quite right then. It's got an underpass and everything. Right, so making our way back to... Someone else I'll leave behind the microphones. Thing. So making our way back to Saltburn. You might be wrong. You probably are. You are an idiot after all. Yeah, I think the 150 actually suits this line. <laughs> Guilty as charged, Your Honour. Oh, crispy. 
can you remind me after the stream I need to do a thing uh, I will certainly do that I might, I'm not sure what route I'm doing on Saturday so I might get a chance to use it on Saturday yeah just remind me I know it's vague. I'm a vague kind of guy. Right, South Bank. Call him Mr. Call him Mr. Vague. Oh, I must remember as well. Watch a YouTube video at the weekend about um, standalone CD players. I really must rig up my CD player to my surround sound system. I might look at that. So I've got a load of CDs I want to play. Anyway, that was just me thinking out loud. You're so vague. And I must remember when I clear out my spare room don't throw away the projector because it's in one of the boxes we didn't stop there well probably couldn't really right south bank is approaching If that's you in Discord, reminding me now, Crispy, don't. You just DM me. Well, not now, you idiot. After the stream? What part of after the stream? Oh, this is the station you're thinking about. I will see. I've seen it now. Someone likes to place Crispy as my PA. Please do let me know. Right. So never look at a DM you send me. Right. Noted. Where's this? South Bank. Uh, locking doors. Right, Grange Town. Another place called Grange Town. Scotland in there? Is there a Grange Town in Scotland? I'm sure there is. Cardiff. Grange mouth. It was close. It had Grange in it. We changed train. Oh, one of the many places we changed trains to go to Barry Island. The 35 stops we stopped at because a certain purple idiot had to go and collect the stations. Ladies and gentlemen, we will shortly be arriving at Grangetown. It was a nice day though, wasn't complaining about the weather. 
Oh, that's brakes. Uh, it was quite pleasant today. Obviously, the whole rainy thing yesterday. My the weeds in my garden that were like about three inches tall on Saturday are now about fifteen inches tall. I have people coming to sort out my garden on Monday. It is going finally. Um, it is going to be graveled. <laughs> Weed membrane over the whole back garden, covered in gravel. Done. No more mowing the back garden. Uh, locking doors. Red car, British steel. Well, I used to use a lawnmower in the front. tell people going for a Mediterranean look well yeah I do like the idea actually of just putting a couple of pots out there with some flowers in I can cope with that although most of the stuff in my garden is dead so I think it's just going to be gravel I've got no interest in the back garden at all I don't go out there I just have to look at it through the patio doors, that's it. Oh, 150 stretching its legs. Yeah, it's definitely a nice route, this one. Very nice, as some would say. And yeah, definitely well suited to bring in the, uh, the 150 back on it. Seem to be lacking dings. Yeah, yeah. I'm not bothering to turn it on now. You can tut all you like. Arriving at Red Car British Steel. Oh, actually, looks a bit better platform wise here. Hopefully, they can actually negotiate the train easier. If anyone's actually getting on and off, are they? Or are they just going to stand looking at the train?
Well, they're just going to stand looking at the train. Has anybody actually got on? I don't think they have. Maybe this route isn't suited to the 150. Nope, they're literally just going to stand there and go, nope, I'm not getting on that. Right, Red Car Central. Slight bit of rolling back, it's fine. It'll be fine. He says. I really want you to get want to get you to drive the real thing i'd love uh i'd love to drive any sort of real i try i had to go in a at the swindon quick Bay railway when i was really young uh, a shunter that they had there that had a manual gearbox i basically just moved the throttle um and got that moving i remember that i think it'd be, be quite an experience to drive an actual diesel train of some sort I'm not paying £400 to drive a bloody pacer I know that for a fact That's what Purple Boy wants to be, isn't it? Train driver. I can't see it, personally. But, you know, fair play. He's going to end up doing something on the railways. I could almost see him being one of those people that will end up working at a mainline railway station and will be there a really long time you know, you're checking in like 40 years time and he's worked at that one station all his life known by everybody really helpful really friendly you know knows everything about every service coming in and going out uh you know one of those real assets to the train company type of people that's what i think he'll end up doing That's actually quite a cool, uh, quite like that, with passengers stuck in the train. And I think that's the issue. I think when you're young, you don't know what you want to do. You know, we've got an apprentice where I work. And he basically only got the job because his dad is in a relationship with one of our directors. Um, and he's just lounging about at home. So they basically gave him a job. Um, which he's got no interest in. So and he's only there because of that. And I keep trying to talk to him and go, look, you're 20. Um, is this really what you want to do for the rest of your life? I don't know. Well, you almost need to go out there and try a few different things until you know what you want to do. I, I've said this before. I did a few different things before I ended up in something that I enjoyed, which is customer facing and sales, uh, and then stuck with that. In, until you've done a couple of jobs, you don't know what you want to do.
I'm now doing something that I enjoy, which is a help. Um, if I had the opportunity, though, I would stop tomorrow. Right, red car east. Uh, I am busy. People wonder why I'm sometimes in bed at like quarter to ten. If people knew uh, how um, full on my job can be and how I don't get any time between leaving work and streaming. Um, so pretty much my brain is full on from like 20 past seven in the morning till half past eight, quarter to nine at night, nonstop. Uh, I don't take a lunch break. Um, so no wonder when I sit down after the stream and try and unwind, I'm pretty much asleep. Yeah, my job is quite varied, Crispy. Which is, again, why I'm taking a few days off in a few weeks' time. Although, with what I've got planned that week, I, it's going to be hectic. <laughs> like, the only time I'm actually going to take a day to not do something is going to be the Sunday after Bus Fest and the Tuesday and then the Sunday at the end of the week. So I'm going to have three days, three rest days. Uh, I do do a lot in my job. And yeah, I don't, so I don't take a lunch break. I eat my lunch, sat at my desk and then I'm generally replying to emails and doing stuff whilst I'm working. Uh, whilst I'm eating, rather. Uh, right, long. The only thing I don't do is answer the phone. Uh, Longbeck. But it was the same at Decorators Merchant. When I was running a Decorators Merchant, it was we were ridiculously busy from the minute you were in, because to getting the vans out on deliveries, they went out. Then it was placing orders for stuff. Um, and then it was deliveries coming in, putting them away. And then you're picking stuff for the following day to go back out. Um, so you were just full on. And there were days in there where I was in the branch on my own. So the driver went out at sort of nine o'clock. I was on my own then. The driver came back at three. Helps me with picking. Finished at half three or four. I'm the last hour on my own. Um, so there are times where even, you know, you used to try and go for a pee. Chances are you'd stand there, get your thing out. Uh, and a customer would come in. So you're like, I can't even have a pee without a customer coming in the door. That was uh, that was quite a stressful job. When I started where I am now, um, I asked to do more because I wasn't it, there wasn't enough to uh, to do, and which is fine. But when it's busy, it's like, oh, blimey. Um, is it that you don't like speaking on the phone, Crispy, or is it you don't like making conversation? Because having spent time with you, you're not great at conversation. Yeah, small talk. Where it's because you haven't been in situations where you've got to talk to people. Or whether it's because your generation doesn't really speak on the phone much. It's all 
uh, texting and Discord chat and stuff like that. Which is the one thing I've got to say, as as a comparison. Obviously, I've spent a lot of time with Ethan over the last couple of months, um, and yes, he's on his phone a lot, and yes, he does like to send messages and stuff, and he's constantly flicking around on Twitter. But we can have a conversation, and we actually speak on the phone most days uh, for about an hour um, throughout the day. First thing in the morning in the evening sometimes during the day um and it's quite easy to have a conversation so whether that's him being a bit more relaxed and open and personable um i don't know i'm similar though crispy if i've got a i'll email someone at work rather than phone them because i can be doing something else while i'm doing it to ring them it's like oh for god's sake i've actually got to take the time to concentrate on what you're doing and there are certain people that will only ring me rather than email me because they go oh it's easier to ring no but when you've got if you email me what you want or what you'd like me to do i've got it written there in front of me if you ring me i've got to physically write it down and then hope i can read my handwriting back or hope i don't lose the bit of paper i've written it down on so as enjoyable having a phone call can be sometimes it's easier to email One thing we don't do and haven't done in Discord um, that we used to do a lot of years ago is there would be people pretty much sat in a Discord voice room most of the time. One of the regulars anyway. So we'd have a separate voice room just for like chat. And if someone was just sat on their computer gaming, they would just jump in a voice chat room. And if someone else was on their computer, or even if they weren't, I would, I've driven back from somewhere before now and just joined voice in the car and just chatted um so it's quite nice just to while you're doing something just to have a chat say so ethan although he doesn't now uh he used to speak to me every morning he would ring me while he was walking to the train station uh so while i'm driving to work i would have been on the phone to ethan every morning at like between seven o'clock and like 25 past seven um, and occasionally he'd ring me at like two minutes past five when I've got in the car until, well, sometimes until six o'clock he'd be on the phone. And it's actually quite nice just to, be, just to chat to someone. Um, and the one thing that's helped me is actually uh, having someone to talk about your day. Oh, have you had a busy day? What have you been up to? Oh, this has happened, that's happened. He now knows the people I work with, what their names are, what they do, what I do, some of the jobs we've got going on. And you know what? For as much of an annoying purple idiot as he is, it's actually been a real help to me to have someone that I can just offload a bit to and just have that just normal conversation with. Oh, yeah, Loopy Day was doing this, doing that. I've got this to do tomorrow morning and and so and so and i think even having that sort of conversation in the discord server um would be benefit to certain people so yeah it is quite nice to actually to actually talk to someone more so for me because i'm on my own um yeah crispy Yeah, Dorset. I, I don't know if you've got anybody that, you know, you speak to on the phone. But it's actually, I'm actually uh, gutted because Ethan's finished um, school now. Done. So I'm actually going to miss the, he rang me this morning and that was the last time that he's going to be ringing me at like seven o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, oh, I'm actually going to miss that now. Because even work, I've got used to the fact that I go in, open up, go make a coffee, and I'm still chatting to him on the phone until I find my laptop up, then he sods off. Because a couple of people with the regulars in know I'm on the phone now first thing in the morning. Um, so, and yeah, sometimes driving home, 
he'll ring me. And I'm, I'm actually, as it says, annoying git as he can be, I'm actually going to miss that. <laughs> because it's actually giving me someone to just chat about my day to. I would talk to the budgie when, the, when I had the budgie. Uh, hi, Aiden, by the way. Yeah, doing all right. What, when you're on your way to work? I say, uh, it's, it's been more important for me because... Um, uh, because I've got, there's no one here, but it's also, when he's been ringing me uh, on the way home from work, to come into the house when you're talking to someone doesn't make the house feel as empty. So I'd come in, do my sandwiches for work, do some food, put him on speakerphone, get changed, fire up the computer, and then sometimes I'd still be on the phone to him as I sat down here to stream. And it's actually been really nice because it's been, I haven't been alone. And then the only time I'm I'm alone then is after the stream. So yeah, so you know, Crispy has been a brilliant help keeping me entertained throughout the course of the day and chatting to me. And we've had some really nice um, uh, open conversations. Um, but between Ethan and Crispy. Um, over the last four, three months, um, they've just, between the two of them, have just helped keep me going, basically. And, uh, yeah, I can't thank them enough. Also, you should thank Ethan's mum for allowing him to come down here. She really likes me. I don't know why. Yeah, I've, I forgot, Chris, but you don't take praise, do you? How are you going to cope at work? I don't know. All right, we are approaching Saltburn. Is this the end of the line? Yeah, you've really got to... Because you're going to get that, Crispy. Because you're going to do things right. You're going to do things uh, well. You're going to... Someone's going to tell you information. And you're going to be able to relay it back to them. You know, if they say, right, what size brake discs do we need to put on this? And you're going to go, oh, yeah, this is the so-and-so. Because it's that model year or whatever. You're going to go, oh, brilliant. Well done. And you've got to be able to take that. And just say, oh, thanks very much. You've also then got to be able to take a bollocking. And not take it personally. Because that's going to happen. Because you're going to muck up. And people are going to get mad. And you're going to do things that are going to be very expensive to put right. It's going to happen. Uh, you've got to A. Learn to don't hide anything. As soon as you muck up, put your hand in the air. Uh, I've, I've, I've done a thing. Um, and accept the bollocking. Uh, learn from it. Move on. If, when I have a bollock to member of staff and I've had to um, sack people on multiple occasions, uh, which is a tough thing to do, um, I always try and end that with a positive, which I know is tough. We just lost your job. Um, try and end it with a positive. And if you are bollocking someone, look, you've mucked up. It's expensive. You know, this, this is the issue it's caused us. You know, you've got a customer now without a vehicle they can't use that they need, blah, 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 blah. Learn from it. Um, and then give some sort of positivity. However, yeah, you balls this up, but 
you've had a brilliant week you've been doing x y and z really well keep doing that just trying to make as many mistakes in the future and you'll leave there knowing you've had a bollocking but also well actually i haven't done too bad a bad boss will just bollock you and make you feel really terrible um but yeah i was always firm but fair as a boss uh, still am although i've only got one person working for me currently uh there we go then uh what a really really enjoyable route i said monday night i'll be back doing the gloss up line manchester to hatfield and gloss up i can't show any of that until monday uh we'll be back on saturday though um doing uh doing something i don't know what we can do saturday what have we done for a while um is there anything else we've done west somerset that's quite slow west corn we've done recently we can maybe do what about northern trans pennine we can maybe do that because that's another northern one maybe we'll do northern trans pennine on uh on saturday do some more british stuff before we then do gloss up so uh, yeah that's going to be saturday and then monday night will be uh gloss up uh, next stream though is back tomorrow night uh for me being told off by crispy stream uh playing some uh, portal 2 in multiplayer uh crispy getting frustrated with me for a couple of hours and pulling my head off uh friday night is going to be uh, some forza horizon 5 it's uh, waiting for dorset to press the button simulator uh, Saturday lunchtime, as I said, uh, more Train Sim World 3. Saturday night is Wreckfest. Uh, and then Sunday afternoon, back on the farm. And then Monday, uh, Gloss Up. And then straight through to next Friday. So no day off for me this weekend. Uh, straight through to next Friday now with streams. So thanks to you lot in chat for keeping me company uh, for the last two and a half hours nearly. Uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, nothing happened follow me wise. Uh, so thank you very much to the moderators for doing absolutely nothing. Uh, I will be back with the crispy one uh, tomorrow night then to do the Portal 2 thing. Until then, if you have been, thanks very much for watching. <laughs>